and a wide. Too high, calls the umpire. Umpire Alim Dar. Miss Taylor really making a statement right from the beginning. The West Indians are going to be aggressive as possible. That's in the air and it's through the gap and it's four. Lara possibly ruining the fact that he uh, hasn't got a second slip. Might have been just too wide for him anyway. Shevak not in control. There was bounce on the delivery. And uh, never was the intention of playing it in their direction, but uh, there was no slip. Ooh, inside edge, a chop. Well run, Tenduka. Smart cricket. And that's... Whoa! That certainly was a very good-looking shot. That ball came on hard on the splice and uh, flew past that point region. That's really the way Sega plays. And when he does do it, it looks so good. The head position there was perfect. He got to the line of the ball, head down, stunning shot. Just opened the face of the blade. You go, here's a go. He would have been run out by four metres. Dwayne Smith has missed. All those hours of uh, throwing in. Very unfortunate on this occasion. Sevag was just uh, looking for a single which really wasn't there. And uh, just going well wide of the stamps. in that direction Sebag chops it down hard and the timing so good so once you get into position see the bat itself is uh, not what matters so give yourself room and it comes on very hard the timing is perfect maybe that's why Chris Gales opted out of that position <laughs> you're going to have to be very quick to catch him in there if he hits it straight at you becoming like a tracer bullet the white ball is uh, is fantastic to watch and it's really humming oh that's close that's going to be very close he's given him Sevag looks disappointed head went up in the air were there two noises Yes, he checked back very, very sharply off the pitch, and uh, Sebag probably should have got on the front foot. That's out. That was definitely going to hit leg stump or maybe mid -land leg. Confirmed. Give that out any time. He was too late on it. LBW Taylor for 17. It's 22 for one. Rufan Patan batting at three for India. Morton's coming around the wicket to him. Two slips. Nicely forward. Oh, that's beautiful. Straight down the ground. Should go all the way. Timing from Tendulkar. Oh, what a shot from Sachin Tendulkar. No fast whatsoever. Just uh, got the fundamentals right. That front foot into position. And right down the ground. Makes it look so easy. Oh, he's got him. Inside edge. Not a very good shot at all from Ifan Patan. I just reckon he didn't know where he was trying to hit that. No purpose whatsoever in that shot. Yes, you need a top quality batsman to bat at number three when the ball is darting around. Just uh, look at it from Patan. Cross looking bat shot and uh, he is disappointed. 
So he goes uh, for no score. India 27 for two. Should be runs. Four of them. Gets off the mark, the Indian captain. Very lucky indeed. Very often we've seen in the subcontinent, especially short and wide, the batsman's eyes light up into the shot early. We saw Patan being dismissed. Well, has kept a little low, getting the inside edge. He's run away to the boundary. It's a bit of work on the seam by Taylor. It was the off cutter. in the gap normally would run away to the fence and as Tendulkar timed it well enough will be referred to the third umpire just keep the feeling it might have been a boundary Darryl Harper the umpire will go upstairs Bravo the fielder he's got the gap this time good reply from Tendulkar Stunning shot. Oh, this is masterful. It's a long way out of the crease. Good transfer of body weight as well. Simple, uh, Shavit. Just a perfect cover drive. Four runs of the over, it's 45 2. Beautifully executed shot from the Indian captain. We talked about a perfect cover drive in the last over, and this is another one. One thing you don't want to do as a bowler is you start your spell off under pressure. Could get a lot worse from here on in. Can't afford any looseness. Got to be on the business from ball one. So the likes of driving to Ndoka, they will punish you. And more runs this time on the leg side. Shaw right, so will cut it off. Two to drive it. Brings up the 50 for India. Brilliant shot, flowing off drive from Sachin Tendulkar, just had to wait for the touch. Glorious. But if you keep pitching the ball up to this man, he's going to find the gap he's looking for. And there he goes, just wide up, mid off. And as usual, superbly timed. Oh, got him. Dragged it on. There's a deathly hush around the ground. But Bradshaw has got the breakthrough. Tendulkar drags it on from way, way outside off stump. And the little master is gone. And how many times have we seen this in this series? Being done by the bounce or lack of bounce. And dragging it on with the inside edge. Patan went in a similar fashion seen a one off the inside edge that's gone to the left of the keeper and now Sachin Tendulkar falls off that dreaded inside edge for 29 India is 69 for three Tendulkar just dragging on from Bradshaw perhaps testament to the nature of the pitch more than anything slow sluggish and Bradshaw nagging away that's once again well fielded the West Indians have certainly lived up to the standards that uh, they've set in this tournament and in more recent times. The feeling really has uh, come good. That's cut nicely. Night before, there's that race through that was hit with a lot of power. Well, he needed some width, didn't he, Yuvraj? Could face 12 deliveries without scoring. 
and then got one in the slot for him. Short and wide, nothing on it. And uh, my God, if he hadn't hit that for four, he might as well have retired. He uses all his reach and this time gets it fine for the man at uh, third man. This is a very good shot. If he left it, he would have got a wide. They love it. <laughs> yeah, wide this is. It's got it off the toe of the bat. Why let it go? And you can hit it for four. But unlike Dravid shot, he's down. Um... Three on the onside and that before more. That's neatly played, but nicely inside the line. And got just enough bat to beat the man at uh, the fine leg. Okay, Lara's got a problem here with Wayne Bravo. He's all over the shop today. Outside off, outside leg. 3.2 overs, none for 29. Discussion back at the bowler's mark. That's beautifully played, mind you. Once again, on Bravo's legs. Ball's not going well with Bravo. You can see that uh, his confidence seems to be uh, evaporating. Festival atmosphere at this ground. I would say if it's capacity at 53,000, there's probably 50 here. <laughs> and it was amazing, wasn't it? The roar every time there was a single from Tendorka. It gets bold, and you could hear a pin drop. Once again, pushed at that one, and you could see the pace up with the ball's going. That's racing down to the boundary, right down behind the bowler's arm. But that wasn't the air for a while. The draw it once again, probably playing a little too early. Dravid works with his hands beautifully. A lot of players that come from hard wickets, hard fast wickets, they would have probably hit a catch then was able to pull back off the delivery this time he punches onto it and beats the man at mid on it's a good looking shot again the plates replacement was very good look at the hands at the last moment he's letting the ball come he pushes way out front he'll hit uh, return catches close the face and pick the gap Magnificent. He's capable of playing some splendid shots, but he's got to wait for the opportunities, and that was one of them. This is a magnificent shot from Yuvraj Singh. On the up. Beautifully played. These guys with these big bats, when they hit it, it stays hit. Great shot from Driver. Beautiful on drive. Just lent on it. Straight up the middle of the bat. No need to run for that. Well, the pitches in this tournament haven't been batting beauties. Well, if you're a talented batsman and you're good in short selection, then you can get runs just like that. Beautifully executed. Oh, the timing impeccable from your Rodsey. The crowd's loving it. Previous delivery, he tried to pick it up and he said, wait, another one. He's done it perfectly on this occasion. And he won't survive. It's a straight, straightforward catch and a very tame dismissal from Yuvraj Singh. 
lapse of concentration and his third spell. Ian Bradshaw has picked up his third wicket. Lara persisting with Bradshaw. It's paid off here for the West Indians. No sign of his fifth bowler. Straight in. Comfortable catch. And Bradshaw delighted. And he picks up his third. Entertaining stuff from Singh. He's kept driving company. He has to go there for 27. 130 for four. Wants the single. Could be tight. And he's gone. He's gone by quite a distance. And Dravid will be the man to depart. West Indies are in a commanding position with this superb piece of fielding. The run was never on. Dhoni's come to the crease. He's run his captain out. He's on 49. Sensational run out here by the West Indians. And they're riding this game in a big way. Not even in the picture. He's the quickest fielder in the West Indies team, Dwayne Smith. And West Indies realize the importance of that wicket. Dravid gone for 49, it's 131 for 5. Punched away on the onside, they look for two here, but Taylor is after it. Well, that was good, good effort by Taylor. You could see the energy, the athleticism, the determination of the man. This is good cricket. Could have been a close thing. Realised no one was in close on the onside, Jerome Taylor. That two was a possibility. Had to do the chasing himself. And uh, a better throw in the end could have yielded him a better result. And there's only two men outside the 30 yard circle. Well, that's a bit more like it then. A little bit of width. And a very nicely timed. That's brought the crowd to their feet. A nice back cut from Rayner. Could be finished. When you, if you know what your hands are doing on the bat and you've got a slightly slow track and the ball is just short of a length, that's when you can get use the bottom hand and get it over the infield. We haven't seen any attempt from the Indians. Well, half your side out inside 35 overs. You don't want these two, surely, to... Uh, give their wickets away at that stage they've got a long while to go that's great bowling it was an appeal for a stumping I thought for a second it had crept under the bat and the ball had cannoned, cannoned into the stumps and ooh that looks out to me you've got to have the part of it grounded behind the line well, it's a stumping shout, that's what it is. Give that one then, Bruce. What's your decision there? He's trying... I think you'll have to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's trying to roll his foot back to get it flat. He's up on the toe here, and he's trying to get part of it grounded. Out! Well... Here it is again. It's the fast ball from Marlon Samuel. Gee, it all happens so quickly, doesn't it? Brilliant stumping. He did not get the benefit of the doubt. Stump ball ball Samuels for 19, 164 for 6. That's good. Really risky. That's a Dhoni stroke. Chopped away down to find third man for his first boundary. More like it, and they're going to need a lot more of those. I, I just think that they're going to need 250 on this track to win. No slip in place. No risk in that. Good shot. That's more like it then. It's another one. Heaps of expectation here now from the crowd as Dhoni's on strike. to crunch time for uh, India in this innings with just uh, three and a half overs to go now now's the time and he's done it a shake of the head a little in frustration as much as anything but he's delighted 50,000 Indians here in the ground today
He's got 20 deliveries left. Harvard John is going to try and give him as much as possible. That's gone a long way. Gone again. Another one. So he was kidding us all along. Henderson Doney. Just toying with the crowd and the, uh, the West Indians. He's launched into two sixes. Yeah, it's a very hard wicket to bat on this. That's a great shot down the ground. Hit straight. Hit straight, Harbajan. His last couple of overs, since Harbajan came to the crease, it's the first time today I've seen someone pick the bat up with a decent back lift to swing right through the ball. Take the leg by. Slower ball's got him. Inside edge from Harbajan. It's the third batsman that's played on today. Again, shows the nature of the pitch. It's a slow pitch, and Harbajan has tried hard. And this guy is a very clever bowler. Look, when someone's having a go, having a big swing, just back off the pace. They threw the shot too early, and probably a little unlucky for him that he chopped it on, but he's gone for 15. It's 213 for seven. They bowled again. Looking for two again. Oh, he's missed the ball again. It's and it's 50 for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Feel a little for Dwayne Bravo here from these returns, for these runouts. They're supposed to be bouncing it to him. Much easier to take the ball that's rising rather than one that's short. He's got to 50. I, I, you know, great 50, you get 50, is fantastic. But I think it took too long to start the onslaught. Winding up at that, Chanderpaul's got it this time. Agarka is back at the bowler's end. Is Dhoni back at the batsman's end? Chanderpaul throwing... He was struggling halfway down, but the throw is high. Now, has he got the ball down quickly enough? Ooh. But when does the bail fly? Here he comes, grounded his bat. Back. He's out from Carlton Ball. No, he's gone. But he's entertained this crowd admirably at the end of his innings. 51 is made in 65 balls. It took him 40 balls to get to 12. One, four, two sixes. Dhoni's gone. Bravo with the last ball of the innings. Good slower ball. They're trying to run a bye to the keeper. And they won't even get that. It's good stuff from Bort. who takes the ball, underarm throw, into the stumps. So India finish on 2-2-3 two, two, for 9 from their 50 overs. India 223 for 9 in 50 overs. Would that be enough? Dravid with 49 before he was run out. Mahindra Singh Dhoni with 51. Some contributions from Yuvraj 27, Raina and Harbhajan. And the uh, policy of uh, promoting Irfan Patan to 3 didn't quite work out with uh, the openers putting on just 22. So 223, some good bowling here by the West Indies, Jerome Taylor 2 for 33, Ian Bradshaw 3 for 30 and a wicket for Marlon Samuels but Smith doing a good job, 10 overs none for 37 in his 10 overs. We'll take a break when we come back, the West Indies chasing 224 to beat India. Lose delivery from Patan, first runs for West Indies. That's a good delivery, doing too much. I don't see a great deal of feet movement from Chris Gale. Might have been missing off stump. Will be runs. The final leg is far too square. So the first boundary of the innings for Chandapal. The first delivery he faces, he gets off the mark in fine fashion. 
good start for Shiver and Chandra Paul. Just clip that one fine. Seemed to have come off the thigh pad more than anything else. That's a good delivery. They've gone up a bill. Daryl Harper hasn't given it. They were convinced the Indian fielders went up spontaneously. Harper says no. Have a closer look at that one. Kept a little bit low. And I reckon he missed that, Shiva. By a reasonable distance as well. It's in the air, but it's also in the gap. Hasn't timed it too well. And it's still gone to the fence. Rudrapatav Singh's chase was in vain. So first boundary for Chris Gale. Put it in the air, Chris Gale. Not wide enough of the man at cover. The full toss gets the treatment it deserves. Do not bowl loose deliveries to Chris Gale and get away. It's in the air, has it? Oh, it's been dropped. Suresh Raina is an extremely good fielder in that area and it was a super effort to get there, but he's put it down. Suresh Raina being consoled by Yuvraj. Gail looking to blast this one through cover. Good try, got both hands to it. Was hit very hard. Just couldn't hold on. This time it's magnificent. What a strike. Touch of arrogance about that shot from Chris Gale. Didn't even bother running. That's a beauty. This one was pitched a little further up. Gale got right over it. Just opened the face, picked his spot. Oh, another boundary. Too short, wrong line. And the West Indies pick up yet another boundary. 12 runs of the over. It's 24 for no loss. Bit of work to do. Hotel Bukhar Singh in the deep. Fumbled it. And it's an easy boundary for West Indies. Not the kind of start Ajit Agar could want to. He needs a lot more support from the fielders. This shouldn't have been more than two. And that's just lucky. Well, that's typical Gale. Brilliant shot, using his feet and hitting a way over the leg side. That's good, good cricket from Gale. Because the time the bowler will change his length is when he's just been hit the ball before. So Gale staying on the back foot, just clipping that away through square leg for two. So strong there, that's a glorious stroke. Remember this pitch isn't particularly quick. And we've been saying all night that the ball's not coming on. Now then, Gale's always prone to do this as well. It's gone many a mile up in the air. Comfortably taken with glee and joy. By the Harbison Singh. Gale has gone. And really brought that upon himself. Went up like a scud, there's a man under it. Hard to sing, clinging on to the catch. And uh, India, no doubt, absolutely delighted. Gale goes to 34, and West Indies scored 3 for 1. Oh, look at that. Through the gap by Chandra Paul, just eased away on the offside. That's going to be four. Chandra Paul is playing the waiting game. Anything pitched up to him, quite prepared to drive. 
Let's get into position Welch on the ball and eased it into that gap. In the air and it's safe. He's just lobbed over square leg. That's better. Too short from RP Singh. It's a poor start to his spell. Well, at this speed, RP Singh certainly cannot drag it in as short as that. It doesn't really have the pace. See, and I think uh, that's what some of the other sides did. They really had the pace and they dug it in hard so that the bounce was uneven. You don't give uh, batsmen the quality of Chanderpaul too many chances to play the pull shot. And that one dismissed through mid-wicket. This might have enough on it as well, yeah. Lovely little flick from Chanderpaul. And RP Singh is going to have to get his act together here. That's poor bowling by RP Singh and Chanderpaul making use of it. Short, short enough for Chanderpaul to in fact pull it through mid wicket and he did it in style. That's a beautiful cricket shot off his toes through mid wicket for four. And Chanderpaul is timing them sweet this evening. Well, that's a nice shot, that'll go all the way. It's a lovely straight drive from Bravo. Four more from the last ball at 74 for one. Oh, well, that's a beauty. That's a real cracker. It's 96 for one. Oh! That could be close. That could be very close. And the finger goes up. Harbhajan Singh stretch for India. Much needed wicket because this partnership is starting to grow. Well, he's been troubling him around up stump with the deliveries that went straight. They've been going straight from there. This one had some spin on it. Bravo not getting forward, caught on the crease. And Hawkeye says it would have gone over. The leg stump, umpire thinks not. Dwayne Bravo is gone for 16. The West Indies, after 22, are 100 for two. Oh, what a shot. Unbelievable. Shand the ball made it look so simple. He's really looked confident, Shivnaran Chandra Paul. This wasn't all that short. Through. Brings up the 50. Watch on the ball. Moves to 51. Catch. Catch was the call. <laughs> it's a tough, tough call. Straight off the bat. Oh, absolutely breathtaking shot from Sarban. He's one of those right-handers who is very graceful. Well, the ball is getting damp, and if you pitch it up, it's not really going to swing. It will probably come on a little bit more onto the bat, and Sawa just hitting through the line of that one. Couple here. Oh! Edged and gone. So Sa Sawag does the trick. Round the wicket to Chanderpaul, bit of spin, Dravid takes the catch. The captain's brought Sevag on, and Sevag has answered the question. 120 for three. Well, he runs in and he turns the ball. It's just a magnificent off-break, or a leg break to the left-hander. Forced him into it because sometimes that one's going to carry on with the angle. He had to play, the ball turned. And that's the one they wanted. Shiv Chandra Ball's gone for 51. It's 120 for three. Oh! Big spin. Big, big spin. Does give it a rip, doesn't he? 
Another misfield there. Sachin Tendulkar. It's a big shot and right down the ground. He got his opportunity to extend his arms and made maximum use of that. The flight and delivery from Yuvraj Singh. Well, he's waited around. It hasn't been easy for him, Ronaka Martin. But this one was right up in the slot. And he gave that maximum effort and he got the maximum result. This time Martin gets it away. There'll be runs here. Maybe three. Pulled away and get some bat on it, past the wicket keeper, and that's running to the boundary for four. Useful runs. And when it's a runner ball, boundaries create a cushion. And this delivery offline, too short, and Sawan getting enough bat on it. And that's through the cover area. It's out to the sweeper out there for two so that is a very good over and that's his 50 193 for three well there was to go and that's uh so one's 24th to 50 in one day international cricket it's come at a good time for the west indians it's short and it's pulled away Wow. It's short and it's pulled through mid wicket and it's four. He does hit them well, Morton. Stands tall, gets it better. You don't see him looking to sort of uh, caress it around the pot. He gives it a full whack. Oh, that's close. That's out. Now, hello. Well, what are you saying, Bruce? You think it's still on? He's starting. He's had enough. He's going to try and finish it off here. Well, I guess they don't come more out than that. just a bad it wasn't even a cricket shot was it and he's paid the price lbw regarka for 45 is 212 for four oh he's got another one that was the cider surely must have slipped out of his hands agarka struggling now with the, the wet ball yeah okay a look on Dravid's face. That is a pleasant little sighter. Just watch out for the follow up ball. He's off the mark with a single is Mr. Lara. 213, 214 for four. Whoa! That's close, you know, that's very close. Where did he try to hit that? I only require 10 from 10, but it's a tough little situation. Must have been appealing for a little inside neck onto the pads. Wouldn't have been for the LBW, it's too high. Great shot. It's magnificent square drive. 999. Look. Ah, yeah. It's just a matter of a boundary here yeah, for the West Indians. It's now down to six off nine. And that probably is the match, uh, Mr. Dravid. Oh! That's a shocker, Brian. One magnificent square drive for four. 
There'll be a new batsman coming in, and they still need six from eight deliveries. Up the boundary. The game is here to be won. It wasn't enough for him. Probably the length seen it short, his eyes lit up. But Patan took the pace of it. As we see today already, the batsman getting through the shot too early. And being bowled or dragging on. This is the case for Brian Lara gone for five. 218 now for five. Last ball this over to Samuels. It's up in the air. And it's not taken. It's run out, baby. Yes, he's given him out. <laughs> It's all excitement here, and those that have stayed, and it's most of the crowd, believe that India may just have done the impossible. Sarwan is the man. Alimdar didn't even have to refer this. Sarwan has to go. I picked up a single in the process. Samuel's deciding he's going to have a go, see if he can end it right here. Recovered very well, drive it. It's an excellent take, great throw. There it is. Well played, Romney Sarwan. West Indies are to win this match. There is so much to do. Well played, a 50 from him. 219 for six. Well, he's got the ball, he's experienced, he's got to do the job. Bowled him! Bowled him! Whoa, you little beauty! Smith has the habit of swinging across the line and he's paid the price in a big way yeah the guy can't give him credit that was spot on tailed into smith right through his defense just tailed back in beautifully bowled wayne for a golden duck 219 for seven Back up the overthrows, fumble. Oh, four from three now. Oh, it's shortness wide. And that's four. That's the game. It's all over. The West Indies have won. They should never have lost it. Until a couple of overs ago, they had the game won. And then a bit of panic wanted to uh, a loose stroke suddenly brought India back into it Samuels is delighted it's been a heated moment uh, with two there for him but he's done the job backed himself Garka as he's done in the spell dug one in too many and that went flying to the third man area so those aren't for India they're for the West Indians they didn't have the best of starts to this uh, champions trophy but how oh, they've come back in emphatic style and this uh, sees them through to the semi-finals in India They've left it now down to having to beat Australia. Well, it was a nail biter. Two balls to go. The West Indies 224 for seven. Chanderpaul 51. He anchored the innings with those eight boundaries in his 72 deliveries he faced. Sarwan with 53. Ricardo Morton with 45. So the West Indies getting there with just two balls to spare. And the uh, Indian bowling, Irfan Patan, one for 34 in five. Munaf Patel, one for 29 in eight. Ajit Agarka, two for 52. A wicket apiece for Harbhajan Singh, one for 27. That's excellent bowling from the off spinner. And Varinda Sehwag, also excellent bowling. Those two conceding just 63 runs in 20 overs. 10 overs, one for 36. So the match summary, India put into bat 223 for 9 and the West Indies, they did it, 224 for 7 with two balls.